In tonight's Bridging the Gap, right now there are almost 1,500 inmates crowding into the Roger D. Wilson Detention Facility. According to the Knox County Sheriff's Office, 36% are on some type of mental health medication, and those are just the inmates who are diagnosed. As you see here, out of that number, 40 inmates have the most serious mental illnesses, things like schizophrenia and major depressive disorder. Enough inmates have what's called co-occurring disorder, where they abuse drugs or alcohol to self-medicate a mental illness that a weekly program is offered at the detention facility to help. Well, I spent some time at the facility with Allison Rose Dush, Vice President of NAMI Knoxville. NAMI stands for National Alliance on Mental Illness, and it offers a weekly class Allison oversees that runs for two hours, sometimes longer longer depending on the need inmates present. They not only learn about mental health conditions and um, medications and treatment and recovery, they also have the chance to learn a, bit, a little bit about themselves and we create a safe space for them to feel comfortable divulging. Now, the Knox County Sheriff's Office says it averages almost a thousand dollars a month on mental health medications, obviously taxpayer funded. Uh, the ultimate goal of this and other reentry programs is to help inmates get on their feet and into productive lives. Now, as you know, normally we talk to an inmate in our stories because uh, this is such an, a sensitive subject. We were able to, um, you know, talk to them about uh, whether they wanted to be on camera, and we were right. asked to respect their privacy because of where they are in treatment right now. So we're doing that. Yeah, and that is important so they feel like they have that safe space to get through this treatment program. Absolutely. And for more information, everyone, just go to our website, wate.com, under the As Seen On tab. Be sure to click on Bridging the Gap.